It always helps to navigate difficult waters with people you trust. At Lake James, a group of women draw collective strength from their individual stories. As Queen City News reporter John Lee explains tonight, the experience leads to a boatload of amazing friendships. The shimmer of Lake James gives visitors a glimmer of hope. The water definitely has a healing effect for me. Surrounded by friends. Push a little for, yep, we got it. Uh, yeah, team. Women, including Sheila Roberts, try to make heads or tails of life's unpredictable nature. We talk, we cry, we laugh. A dragon boat is their vessel through sometimes turbulent waters. The healing dragons say they live to paddle. Here comes a boat! And they paddle to live. We've got the right away. You can get out on this lake uh, paddling and seeing the wildlife and your cancer or whatever else is going on in your life goes away. Five of them are cancer survivors. The rest... Ready, ready? They're here for moral support. Attention! And more. Go! This is your front row seat to an almost religious experience. I can't even start to tell you how much I enjoy this sport. They're only as strong as the weakest paddler. A spiritual sisterhood propels them. It's just a giving, giving, giving and taking. And it's exercise. This is the power of shared experience. How'd that feel, everybody? Oh, that felt good. And this lady, Susan, is the one that called me and invited me. In 2009, three women with cancer launched the team. That year, they brought on Sheila, who's a breast cancer survivor. I mean, you can tell someone who's never had breast cancer um, what you're going through, but they, they really don't know. Joy Valmasoy was healthy when she joined a decade ago. And then it really hit home when I got cancer because then I had all these great women that I had made friends with that helped support me. A lot of new faces over the years. The influx coincides with grief that's hit them in waves. When you talk to other teams, they say, you've lost how many people? She holds their photos dear. Co-founder Susan Nyman. She got tired of fighting it. Patty Kirchhoff, this is another one of our founders. Julie Kuhn, Lisa Schoberly. Coach Sherry Wiseman. She died in 2018. This lady, Beth Irwin. Over the years, cancer has taken six healing dragons. We barely can get over one, and we've got somebody else that's ill, or their cancer has come back. So, um, yes, it's heartbreaking. It's, I, I don't know any other way to describe it. Okay. There's only so much they can say. All right, right side draw. Then they return to rejuvenating waters. Land ho. There we go. Oh, that was, that was a nice soft landing, as they say. Y'all looking good coming down there. Looking good. The healing dragons compete all over the southeast. Wanda Williams is giddy just talking about it. I've had adventures that I could never have if I weren't a breast cancer survivor. This group was a lifeline for me. Another survivor, Anita Hodges, lost her husband to brain cancer last year. To be on the lake with this group of ladies just uh, helped me to refocus and to keep going. Their spirit lives on. Healing comes in small strokes. There we go. Woo! The lake can be the best medicine. You can splash me all you want. <laughs> they live in the moment and in memory of those who are no longer with us. They're not only a friend and acquaintance, they're, they're part of this boat. And maybe that makes the shimmer here seem a little bit brighter. At Lake James, John Lee, Queen City News. And their sister team, the Healing Dragons of Charlotte, has also been going strong since 2009. To find out more about this amazing group, you can check out this story on our website at qcnews.com.